Welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're going to be making brat stuffed bell peppers. Stay tuned. So what we're going to need to get started is whatever your favorite brats are. Johnsonville is always a pretty standard choice for me. Um, get yourself a couple of nice sized bell peppers. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of onion as well. And then whatever favorite seasoning you want to do. I'm going to use some Luton Booty Barbecue today. Just to add a little bit of to it. And then I'll be topping it off with some cheese at the end. But uh, let's get into this. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is take our brats. We're gonna take them out of the casing because you just want the meat. So just find the end. I just usually put my finger in there, pull it a little open, and you just kind of squeeze it out. Beep, 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 beep. Just like that. Just like that. Squeeze it on out. This is going to be the stuffing for our green bell peppers. Now you can use ground beef, you can use Italian sausage, you can use one of my favorites which is uh, pulled pork. Uh, you can even use rib meat if you wanted to. But uh, whatever you feel like for a stuffing that your family likes, that's what I would suggest doing. Now I'm not a vegan so I'm not going to stuff my vegetables with vegetables but I understand if you do get these up on there boy it's hot today it's 112 degrees right now I am uh, a little bit warm standing over this griddle but I love you guys so I figured I'll make a video anyway I don't care about the heat you guys are worth it yep go. Alright, that's the last one of them there. And I also chopped up just a little bit of onion. A little bit of onion to give it a little, a little extra. The kids aren't huge fans, so I'm not putting a bunch in there. I could have used, you know, you could throw some oregano in there, parsley, whatever you guys want, but I'm keeping it simple tonight. Just a little bit of onion. A little bit of our pork sausage from the brat, so I'll go ahead and get this separated a little bit. And we'll check in in a minute. All right, we're uh, we're getting there. I'm just trying to get some of this separated, taking my tongs and holding it so I can grab on and just pull it apart a little bit more. You don't want two huge chunks in there. You want kind of split up a little bit. Now pull it apart. Also helps it cook a little faster. I did drop a little bit of our loot and booty seasoning on there. There we go. Just get it good and brown just so it's not, you just don't want it pink when it goes in the peppers. Let that sit for a minute. Let's go over here. Turn this to smoke. Check our hopper. Yep. Looks like we're pretty good. 
All right, let's let that heat up. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping these peppers. All right, let's go ahead and start coring out these peppers. Always give them a quick little rinse and then check for any stickers. I found a couple on them, so just a word to the wise, you don't want a sticker nice and melted to it when you go to pull it out, so make sure you check that. I'm just gonna go in kinda at an angle around the top of here and then just pull this top off and then we'll core out the middle. Oh, there it is. All right, so got my little junk bag here. See all that love in there? Yeah, 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 shake that out. I like to cut these ribs out a little bit to give us more room for the meat. Don't cut them too deep, otherwise you put a hole in it and then you have stuff oodling out. Can't have her oodling. That ain't what we do here, cooking with E. All right. Just a little bit more. So, and I can take these over and give them another little rinse to get rid of those seeds, but you get the gist of it. So we got a nice little cup for our meat and everything to sit in. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest here, and I won't bore you with it. Hold on. Okay, so I got my sausage. Sausage. It's actually a brat. Bratwurst. The brats. Got my brat uh, mixture here. Clean these out. They all hold water, so I know I'm not going to have stuff gouging out all over the place. So, not that you have to watch this part, but I'm saying, just take and... Stuff it right on in there. Oh man. Now you want to leave yourself a little bit of room at the top for the cheese. So right about there, see I got a little, about a spoon right there. And this, leave the lip so your cheese don't go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of these. Uh, another quick tip for you. When I put these on the pan, I put a little bit of a little bit of water in there so when I set these on there it just helps create kind of a, a little bit of a steam bath to help these things soften up and help that cheese all melt oh man I can't wait all right I'm gonna get going here just so you know I got this thing set at uh, 350 I just turned it up that's why it says 230 there but uh, once that thing hits 350 we'll go ahead and put these bad boys on and I'm going to just check them, probably 15, 20 minutes at that, and we'll see how we're looking. And then towards the end, drop a little bit of that cheese love on there, and we'll go from there. Let's see how this is. Ow! Yo, that's hot. Don't do that. Don't do it. Okie doke. We are up to cooking temp. Let's go ahead and get this down there. E. E. Do it quick. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that thing's hot. All right, so as I said, I put a little bit of water in there. Go ahead, get that on there. Here, let me, there we are. Get do do. And then if you got one like this, that's kind of leaning a little bit, give him a buddy. Just put a little buddy next to him. Say, here little buddy. You ain't gonna fall over, I'll hold you up. Don't you worry about a thing. So I'm gonna pop them in there. We're gonna check on about 15 minutes or so when they start looking good and done, and I'll show you what that looks like. We'll drizzle some cheese on there and get these things done. Right, let's check on them. Smartened up. Ain't doing that again. This here is about, I don't know, it's been sitting in the sun and it's been 112 degrees outside, so it's a little hotter than the Pied Piper's pop if he was puffing on that pipe, I'm telling you that. Oh, they're starting to look good. You can see it a little, a little rigid, but we're starting to flex. You know, pretzel flex, little flexies. Oh man, you need smell a vision. You need to start getting some of that smoke up in your nose. Just makes the hairs all stand up and go, <laughs> this is good now. Alright, enough of that. Alright, it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check these. I better watch myself again on this thing. It's uh, hotter than Jack B. Nimble's thimble when he nicked it on that there candlestick. So. There we go. That's the color we're looking for. See how they're starting to get a little bit of color? Definitely a little softer. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. Once again, being careful. Just enough to... Sorry, I'm trying to get my glove off here. As I was saying, pull them out just enough where you can reach them and sprinkle them up right of yourself. So, today we're going to use a Mexican style four cheese blend. Because uh, what's better than one cheese? Four. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and open this up. Start sprinkling that love up on there. Try not to drop it all over the dang place. Here we go. Oh, just fill the top of that with some love. Get another handful here. Oh man, that is gonna be so good. That's what. Alright, get the other two here. I didn't leave you boys out either. There we go. Sometimes I like to take and just grate my own cheese. I know it melts a little bit easier, I feel, than even the pre shredded stuff. It melts a little more evenly. There we go. Oh, are you kidding? That's bananas. All right, let's put these back to bed, and then we'll check on them in a minute. So we're right at the 20 minute mark. Come on, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these things out of here without hurting my hands, my fingies. And uh, we'll go ahead and give them a shot. Just so you know, I actually do have a real real hot hand here. <laughs> I was playing around with the ace glove, but that's pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, back in a minute. All right, let's try this. Take a look at that bite. Mm-hmm. I gotta make you some of that. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. See you next time.